I got up around 8 o'clock and yeah, basically just loaded up the balloons and then um, started cleaning. I can't help it. I'm a Virgo rising. If anyone's into astrology and you're a Virgo rising, you know, you know the vibes. Um, but yeah, I folded some laundry, switched the loads over, did some dishes, and then um, yeah, I finished loading up my car with all the stuff. I only fit three eight-foot garlands into my trunk and then my five-inch balloons, which is a lot. Um, I mean, I have a lot of five-inch balloons. I'm not sure why I inflated so many, but I have a lot. I got this um, banner off of Amazon. It didn't come with holes pre-installed. I also got a grommet kit set um, and then I installed one grommet on each of the corners and then one at the top in the middle. Um, I would definitely advise installing an additional grommet or two at the top um, so that there's five going along the top and then maybe three or four going on the sides. Um, just to avoid any crinkling, the balloons will make the banner shift. Um, so yeah, that's just a tip that I would um, like to include for you all because it was kind of frustrating having to deal with it um, shifting a lot and kind of like messing up the picture. Um, but other than that, that was the only thing that I really had an issue with. of my garland up it's pretty much just building on to the base afterwards and what I do is just start connecting um, clusters to the back of the garland um, I don't add it to the front because I kind of like the way it looks um, when it's like peeking out the back and it just looks a lot more seamless that way um, I got this technique from dress your daydream um, she taught me that through like a class or something and I use it still and you can see here I'm going behind the base and I'm um, basically just attaching by the necks of the balloons and building the garland down and I connect every cluster to the base um, so that there's no holes.
Thank you.